Hello and welcome to Locator Gaming. Today I'm going to do something that's a little bit different than what's usually on my channel. Uh, normally I post gameplay videos or vlogs about games, but today I'm going to show how I made an upgrade for a game. So what I'm going to show is how I produced a second version of this particular box that you see here. This is a card storage solution for a Kingdom Death monster. Um, I don't know if you watched the other vlog that I did, but I don't even have my copy of the core game of Kingdom Death Monster yet, but I do have quite a bit of the expansions, um, and I have been looking for ways to store some of that stuff. And I was inspired by a video by another YouTuber named Bra Mithra, so you should go check his channel out. There's a lot of Kingdom Death Monster content on there, and he had a video about his um, card storage solutions, and he showed um, the box that I start with to make these. So um, I don't want to make this intro too long. We'll just get right into it. What you're going to see is just clips of in between the steps, and I'll talk about what the steps are and then the final product at the end. Hope you enjoy. All right, I wanted to just make a video about how I made this box that I'm intending to store cards for Kingdom Death Monster in. Uh, so I'm going to start with a new... A box. This is the art supply box that I started with. This one is still in the shrink wrap from the store. So I'm just going to go through really briefly the steps that I will use because I want to make another one. Um, so I'm going to transform this one to make it look like this one. Uh, it's just going to be a sand stain, put some poly on it, and then spray the lantern on it. And then I actually also, on the inside, put these uh, wooden kind of slab things in there to divide up where the cards are going to go. They're glued in. Um, so I'll, I'll do that also. So I'll get to the first step. This should be a very brief video uh, just on how I made this box for my Kingdom Death Monster cards. All right, here it is out of the shrink. So the first thing I'm going to do is there's some hardware on the inside that I don't need. So I'm going to take this thing off. Uh, there's just some screws down in here that I'll take off. There's a nice tray on the inside. I'm actually using the other tray from the other box that I got for paints. Uh, this is very sturdy. So I'm probably going to use this one now for other supplies like brushes. Maybe I'll stand some miniatures up in here or something. Um, I'll take these out of here. We don't need those. And then I'll go through and I'll take all of this hardware off. I'll just unscrew all these screws because I want this stuff to be off of the box when I'm sanding and staining it. So I'm going to do that um, and store them all in individual baggies so I know what hardware goes with what before I sand it. Oh, and one other last thing. I got rid of these little tabs. Um, I know why they're there. It's so that the box can stand up on its end. Um, if they're not there, you can't stand it up on these hinges without them. But um, I'm going intending to use the box like I had it displayed earlier uh, with cards in it in this direction. Uh, so I'm not going to be standing it up on its backside so I don't need those tabs on there, so I'll just get rid of those. All right, I've deconstructed the box. Here are the, the guts that were on the inside uh, with taken out. I got all of the hardware taken off and in separate baggies with the right screws that go with the individual parts, so I don't have to guess later what goes with what. The little tabs that were on the bottom, and here are the two halves of the box. So the next thing I'm going to do, this is the back side. These are the holes where the hinges were, and these are the holes where those pegs were. I'm going to use some wood filler to fill these in, some sandable and stainable wood filler, uh, because I don't need those holes there, and I don't want them there. And this box actually, I don't know if you can see it, but is actually cracked a little bit, so I'm hoping that the wood filler can add some stability back to that. So that'll be the next step, throwing some wood filler in there and letting it dry uh, overnight before I actually get to sanding uh, both halves of the box here. 
All right, you can see here that I used this uh, stainable wood filler and it filled in the holes nicely. And I have gone through and sanded everything. And I'm also gonna use this, uh, there's little holes from the hardware that are in the lid. So I'm gonna go through and do that. Uh, I'm also going to cut these or the slabs that I'm going to use for the inside as the card dividers. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut these to size, uh, get them sanded and then glue them into the bottom. Okay, there we go. The boards have been cut to 12 inches a piece and they're glued in and drying right now. I use that uh, Gorilla Wood Glue. And I did put some more putty on the hole that was in there. So that uh, is drying. I don't know if you can see that. So the next step is gonna be to see how all this glue dries. There's a little wet spot right there where I wiped up some of the excess glue. I tried to be as clean as possible putting the glue in because the glue you have to sand it out or it won't come out the same as the rest of the stain. So uh, I'll look and see if there's any hard glue spots uh, before I start staining it. What I'm gonna do this time that I didn't do last time is I'm gonna use some of this uh, Minwax pre-stain wood conditioner. Not a necessary step, I don't think, obviously because I didn't do it last time. I did use that stuff when I made my game table though. Um, so I'm gonna see if there's any difference between the two in using that stuff. We'll see how it comes out. Um, like I say, not a necessary step. I guess the whole project's not necessary, but. So that'll be next, uh, putting that on and staining it because you're supposed to stain uh, like 10 or 15 minutes after you put this stuff on. Uh, so the next time you see the box, it'll probably have some stain on it. Okay, so here are the two halves after staining. Uh, the bottom here, and then this will end up actually being the top. Standing went okay. Um, there is one thing with these particular boxes. There's glue in around all the inside from the manufacturer of it that's uh, not completely stainable. So there's going to be some spots that uh, just won't stain because there was glue and it just wouldn't sand all the way away. So the next step is to put the polyurethane on. I'm gonna do three coats on uh, the, uh, the bottom outside of this and the inside of this. And then I do two coats on the top here before I spray paint it on the uh, lantern. So I'll do two coats on the top of this one and then uh, get it ready for spray painting because I wanna put uh, at least one coat over top of the lantern. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the poly on. It's gonna take a couple of days in between all the drying and sanding uh, in between each coat. Okay, so I've got two coats of the poly on the top. So now I'm gonna use this uh, stencil and these, uh, these dots, uh, attach them to the top here and then spray the lantern logo on before I go through and do the third layer of poly uh, on here that will include the uh, covering the paint for the lantern. So I just wanted to come back real quick and show here's the box all taped up with the stencil template on it and I used like this label paper and uh, the inside part of the lantern cut out to trace around the circles and then you get uh, these little white circles that will also be blocking the spray paint. So everything that you see that's wood right now is what's gonna get sprayed with the black spray paint. And then I will take the uh, little labels off and the stencil off and hopefully be left with a nice looking lantern. It's another quick cut in here. It is all sprayed and I'm letting it dry for just a little bit before I remove the stencil and the stickers. Okay, here it is after the stencil or template or whatever you want to call it is taken off and the uh, label paper that I had put down to block where the circles are is removed. I remove it very carefully so I don't scratch the paint. I'll probably let this dry for at least a day before I put poly on it just so that it's like completely done curing and outgassing and stuff. So I will put the third coat of poly then on the top and I've got a, another coat to do on the inside of the top here and the inside of the bottom, and then it should just be reassembly. 
So here are the two halves after putting the poly on it. I don't know if it looks that much different on camera, um, but it's got the poly and it's got the lantern sprayed on it. So the last step to do is to just add this hardware back on. And then I'm gonna leave it open to air out in the garage for quite a while to let the polyurethane smell uh, kind of dissipate a little bit more. So I'll come back after the hardware is on and probably do just a final comparison between this one and the first one. Here are the two boxes side by side. Uh, this is the, the first one, and then this is the one that I just did. You can see there's a little bit of a difference. Um, I don't know if it was the pre-stain that made this one come out lighter, or if I just left the stain on longer on here before I took it off. Uh, the lantern is a little sharper here. I did use black spray paint on this one, and this one is actually dark brown. And I taped a little bit more around the inside edge this time, so that may have helped with some of the, the spray. I still like the way this one looks, but this one just came out looking a little bit sharper with, I think, the darker color um, and then the lighter, obviously the lighter stain on the wood. And all the hardware is on, uh, so we can pop it open. So there you go, that's it. So that's how I made my uh, card storage solution. Now I'm just gonna, leave, like I said before, I'm gonna leave it out and open so some of the polyurethane smell gets off of it and it's ready to throw a bunch of cards in. Okay, I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing all of the in-between on all the steps that I've done for making this uh, card storage solution box and I'll see you in the next one.